Your DJI Mini 3 Pro just got so much more cinematic, let me tell you why. So DJI released the firmware version 01000500. And what it does is that it drastically improves your gain and expo tuning, and especially for the cinematic mode. And what they've done is that they allow you to slow down the maximum speed on cinematic from six meters per second down to one meter per second. So why is that such a big deal? Well, when you fly, you know that you can fly slower by just pressing less forward on the joystick. But the thing is that it's a lot better if you can just push all the way forward forward and then have the speed you would like to have because it's always a little bit tricky to have a constant speed if you need to adjust it with your thumb. The first thing we need to do that is the upgrade of firmware version. Whenever you have completed the update of the firmware you go to the start screen then you tap the three dots at the top right. After that you can go into about and you can confirm that the update has done what it's supposed to do and you can see that it says aircraft firmware 01000500. When that is done, you can go back to control and after control, you can scroll down to where it says gain and expo tuning. If you tap that one, this is where you set the maximum speed of your three flight modes, the cinematic, normal and sport. If we now go to cine, we can see that it's preset to six meters per second because that was the slowest speed you were allowed to set the cinematic mode to before the firmware update. Now you can take that one down from six meters per second all the way down to one meters per second, which makes a drastic improvement when it comes to cinematic flights. You can also lower down the maximum ascent speed from two meters per second down to one meters per second. And the same for the max descent speed from one and a half meters per second down to one meters per second. And if you screw something up, you can just go to the bottom and then you click reset to current settings and then you take reset and now it's reset to how it was before and you can start from the top again. So now you can see that it's reset to six meters per second. So I can scroll that one down to one meters per second, max the sense speed the same, we're down to one and down to one. Because when I do cinematic, I want cinematic to be really, really slow. If I would like to fly faster, I just use normal flight mode. So let me show you the difference this makes between the six meters per second and one meter per second. And you can decide yourself if it's better or worse. I can actually try to fly through here, this little way here. And I don't want to fly faster because it's really tricky. And I maybe even need to deactivate the obstacle avoidance to be able to fly through there so it doesn't take another route. So let's set back the setting to six meters per second. And we're going to see how we're going to perform this fly through when we are in six meters per second. Let's tap the three buttons. And then let's go up to the top of the screen and set it to six meters per second. This is the old minimum speed. It goes really fast, even when we are in cinematic mode, when we are in six meters per second. So let's see how we can do this. Oh shit. So let's bring it back. And let's switch to one meters per second instead like that. And the best thing is that you can perform these changes while you are in the air. Okay, so we just hold a second here because when I was editing this video, I noticed that it was something strange with the speed of the gimbal tilt up and down. So I made some more tests and I discovered that if you are changing the speed of the gimbal, it's not working. It's not affecting anything when you're flying. If you take down the drone on the ground instead, you make the changes there. If you have it on 100, it goes the fastest. If you have it on one degree per second, it goes the slowest. But as soon as you get the drone up into the air, those settings are like they are reset back to 10 degrees per second. So DJI, if you see this, what is wrong here? Why are the settings for the gimbal tilt not saved so they are applied when the drone is in the air? Back to the video again. And now let's fly full speed forward. Just for the sake of it, just, let's just put it back to six meters per second and then I'm gonna see how complicated it is to actually manually fly at one meters per second. Let's go to Cine, scroll it up to six meters per second, 6.1. And DJI, this again 
why can't you allow me to just tap the number and then I can just type it in but instead of scrolling these things back and forth. So this is 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Let's see, 0.8. Well, you can definitely do it, but it's just so much easier when you can pull the throttle all the way forward and then it's gonna do the job for you. Next thing we're gonna test that is what's gonna happen when I set it to one meters per second and I lock it on myself. So I'm gonna track myself and I'm gonna walk faster than one meters per second. Is that gonna work? Or will the speed limit be limiting the drone at one meter per second? Let's put up the menu again. We set it to one meters per second. Now we're just gonna see how fast is one meters per second. It's very slow. So let's see if I can walk faster than that. And then we're gonna lock myself, active track, and go. See how it works. It definitely flies faster than one meter per second. So this is what I've been able to illustrate also in my active track video where the drone was following the jet ski and the boat and I could actually switch between cinematic, normal and sports mode and it didn't affect the tracking speed at all. And the next thing you're gonna do, well, that is to watch that video because that is the video YouTube recommended to watch next. So see you in that one, bye.